Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Hello everyone. After finishing MSK series in radiology, now we are going to start RS series in radiology. So this is the case number one. This patient is 60 year old patient with chronic SOB and cough. So this is the frontal chest radiograph of skeletally mature female patient. You can see the best shadows in these patients here. Yeah. Best shadows. So it's a female patient and uh, this chest is hyper expanded or hyper inflated chest you can see so posteriorly there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 ribs. So it's a hyper expanded, hyper expanded chest or hyper inflated, hyper expanded chest you can see and the diaphragms are flattened. You can see these uh, these region diaphragms are flattened, and the mediastinum is also narrowed. Yeah, mediastinum is narrowed, and uh, you can see some uh, vascular markings are uh, diminished, diminished vascular markings, and. You can see some loosenses in the lower zones of both lung fields. They are likely bullous changes. Bullous changes are there in the both lower zones. And surely uh, the, there are no mass lesions and no evidence of pneumothorax. Those are complicating features of uh, this patient. No pneumothorax, no pleural effusions, and also no consolidations in this x ray, so no complicating features in this chest x ray. And other features the trachea central, and no obvious bony pathology. So the diagnosis in this patient is COPD. Or emphysema so differential diagnosis for this kind of patient uh, asthma if the if the lungs are hyper expanded and hyper trans radiance is there asthma is one differential diagnosis for bullous changes differential diagnosis are lung and cell histiocytosis lymphocytic interstitial pneumonitis and lymphangiolyomyomatosis these can mimic emphysematous changes especially centrilobular emphysema so these are few differential diagnoses for COPD these are main differential diagnosis if there are bullous changes and also TB cavitatory disease So the COPD usually occurs in smokers and sometimes they can occur in the cystic fibrosis, alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiencies, those are few etiological factors and the complicating features are uh, infections can occur, so you have to look for infections, pneumothorax. Pneumothorax, you have to look for infections and also malignancy. So, you have to look for these three complicating features when you look at a chest x ray versus COPD. So, that concludes case number one of respiratory system in radiology. Thank you, everyone. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, then you will get. Uh, 
notifications of our new videos and you can also comment on our videos thank you thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this